to ask of y'all in a minute. First, let me introduce myself. Born in 1850. My name is William Jasper Franklin. But in my lifetime, I was better known as the Goat Man. I guess y'all can figure out why. This here is Pete. Yeah, that's Pete, my friend, my colleague. Now, you know, every town has its characters, and me and Pete was a familiar sight all over this town. Say hello to the nice folks, Pete. What are y'all waiting for? Goats don't call. <laughs> Although, this morning I said, uh, Pete, you got anything you want to say to the folks tonight? And he said, nah. Now, y'all may not realize it, but my left side and my legs is paralyzed. As a young man, I was struck down by meningitis, which we call brain fever. Uh, they say it come into Atlanta with the troops during the war between the states, and it never left, snatching up our youngest citizens and killing them by the dozens. I was just one of the lucky ones. My daddy made me my first cart with his very own hands so that I could be as free as a walking man. And I made a living peddling goods on the streets, downtown, pencils, matches, apples when I could get them. Everybody knew the goat man. Why, we became like local celebrities. <laughs> well, me and Pete wasn't known for our looks. <laughs> Lord knows. Uh, wasn't known for our talent. Well, come to think of it, we was more like half celebrity and half nuisance. <laughs> kind of like the Kardashians, you know. <laughs> Our most profitable location was on the steps of the state capitol, the old state capitol, down at Forsyth and Marietta before they built that one with the big gold dump. Uh, there wasn't a legislator in Georgia didn't know the goat man. I'd holler out, hey, pencil, give me a nickel. I could make a dollar fifty a day. Now, some folks claimed that we was loitering, but I always thought of myself as a entrepreneur. Now, Mr. Henry Grady, y'all heard that name before. Mr. Henry Grady suggested in the newspaper, mind you, that Pete don't listen too close to this. Mr. Grady suggested that my goat stunk. Well, we was both highly offended by that, although sometimes there might have been a little truth to 